right this is another how to create your framework video this is more of like a, a five on talk video though it's sort of just like our state of where we're at and what's gonna be happening next um we're at the point where the log video will come out soon showing all this new stuff um if you didn't know I, I do comment in this in my log video this is brought from someone else's discord log script uh specifically this stuff uh where it tells who killed what and how they died um uh, other than that the other stuff is just the ability to send a log either through an export or through a server command but you guys will see that later um it's mainly now we're at the point of what's next um what's next is most likely going to be uh our government resource which is going to contain the base government jobs and the base uh, uh payment for those jobs so uh in theory how we're going to have it work <clears throat> is government jobs uh mayor is going to be the highest i believe uh is how we're going to do it and the mayor controls the payroll of everything else so we're going to have to build them a separate menu that they control the payroll of the cops and so on but all of that money is in theory just brought in um for player uh, for player jobs it's going to be a different thing it's not going to be under government uh it's going to be player ran jobs meaning uh the player decides when the payroll gets sent and so on um <clears throat> a few other things that we might be doing uh, we're gonna change this commands up uh, just basically using a better way this isn't terrible but uh, I don't think it's the most efficient way another thing we're gonna redo the whole chat script and make it look uh, a lot better uh, but overall the state um it's hard to tell where we're going it's gonna be a slow process for these next couple times uh, we do have an inventory that was recently released on the forums which I could sort of show you guys so we're gonna go to the forums real quick um however the inventory I mean it's just how people do shit now it's just very close uh, looking to no pixels but what we're gonna end up doing where's it at it was somewhere here We'll just search up inventory real quick um what we're gonna end up doing is changing a lot of the css one because i i don't know it it felt like they really didn't do much um oh it might have got taken down now now that i'm thinking about it, it might have been a uh, could have been a stolen one let me just go check history real quick and So was this what happened here though? Did it get taken down? No, it didn't. Okay, that's weird. It's just like was hidden. Um TypeScript inventory uh has metadata, crafting, shops, and weapons, so this is all good. So we're gonna end up porting this over here. Um however, you can see in the screenshots and so on. Looks very close to no pixels. Uh I mean, you can't do too much about that. We're going to change a lot of how it looks, though, because of this. Uh, I just fucking hate that it looks like that. Um, but we're just going to end up porting this over. Uh, the next thing we might port over would be a clothing menu. But then after that, it would be pretty simple. Uh, all the jobs, uh, we have an idea for how we want the jobs to do it. Um... And player ran jobs are also going to go through the government script uh, where they create the job. So they're going to end up, I could actually just write, eh, I could I could type something in here if I wanted to. But in theory, uh, the government, <clears throat> people that want to create businesses is going to have to go through the government. Uh, 
and talk to one of the people within there. Uh, this is for RP purposes, quote unquote, talk to the people that are in there. Uh, we're going to make a method that they don't need to talk to people in there uh, just in case you don't have you don't want to fill that role. Uh, but then they pay X amount uh, per business and then whatever. And then hopefully, hopefully, uh, we will get bank accounts to set that up so everyone can access uh, player business bank accounts. Um, other than that, some other changes. Uh, we do need to go in here. We need to open. Yeah, we're going to have to open some logs <clears throat> and then we're going to have a, I guess next would be MPUI, which is going to control our slash cache and everything and display that on the screen if we want any of that to happen. Um, the admin, uh, very slow, all this stuff actually is going to get moved into uh, functions here or eh, it might get moved into functions or exports even and then we could just call a menu based off that and just export it in uh, that might be the easiest way uh, we're going to switch a lot up for everything we're going to mainly make this a export based framework so there's going to be a lot more documentation of what the exports do and so on. Uh, the spawn menu, so far it's gonna stay the same. We might have to switch some stuff on it later. Um, this would probably be uh, the spawn menu on first spawn, we're gonna make it spawn at the airport, no matter what. Uh, we might make a last position an option as well. Um, what else was there? What else was there? Um, housing. H housing, I believe we can put it in here where we can... Yeah, we could grab their data of where their house is and then put it in a general location. Uh, so we can grab their player data, put it in here, and then... Um, and we could spawn them in here as well. We would just have a localized spawns of where each house is in a general area uh, and we could do that but that's obviously later on first things first is inventory would be the biggest one on the priority list uh, like I said though just porting it in uh, shouldn't be that hard and then we're gonna be making it use uh, this citizen ID clause uh, and this is how we're gonna grab a lot of things uh, ranking, the only reason ranking doesn't have the citizen ID, which is basically, uh, like I said, <clears throat> it's just the CID, which is the number slot of the player and their Steam. Uh, this is how they're going to get their general information. Uh, everything's going to be calling citizen ID, which is CID dash, and then their Steam. Uh, so that's how the inventory is going to get it. It's going to get this. And then when we delete a character... Uh, ooh, that's also something we would need to add. So when we delete a character, uh, basically it's going to search for the citizen ID and the whole frame, the whole SQL and just delete everything that it's attached to. Yeah. But that, I would say, would be it. It's just a little state of the game. Uh, next video should be up relatively soon, probably Monday. It's just the finished logs. Um, Yeah. And that's about about it. Um, we did change another thing. Uh, obviously, server config is... Uh, oh, I shouldn't have shown that, but server config and then resource uh, CFG. We're basically executing this so I don't have to edit the server config so you guys can keep all that information uh, how you want it. And then this resource one will get edited as needed. But other than that, thanks for watching. Please leave comments. Uh, if you guys have any ideas, uh, please hop in the Discord. The Discord went through some changes, not too much. But uh, hop in here and just type in... Oh, I guess you could type in ideas for learning, and then we could put stuff in here. Uh, some people already commented on some stuff that we are going to be doing. Also, this is now a public uh, thing, so if you wanted to, you could just click on here, and it will bring you to the GitHub and see what changed.
Uh, also, make sure you star it. Uh, if you like the work, just make sure you star it. Stars are, I don't know, they're just there to see that people appreciate it and uh, stuff like that. Not a huge thing. There are another couple things. Uh, pull requests. I will look at pull requests. However, I will most likely not add them. Uh, this one, I mean, this one was just a typo for exports. And we, we, I could show you. So I'll look at it. I mean, I just capitalized the two. Um, this was mainly here. Um, just to see if I wanted it. Um, but yeah, someone fixed it up a little bit here, but up to you, you guys could, uh, you guys could do pull requests. I, I'll probably never accept them. I'll just keep them in here. Um, and or close them if the changes need to be there right there, right here. It just, the change doesn't need to be here right now. Uh, this was mainly like a message for me to possibly make this an export, but other than that, Thanks for watching. Have a good one.